Hello and welcome to this week's Fix It Friday. So today we're going to be doing an oil change. Let's get on with it. So the first thing we've got to do is get the engine warmed up. So let's get it started. Hello. Oh. Right, so engine's a bit warm. So we've got this little didgeridoo thing. I've not used it before. But the idea is we stick a pipe down the dipstick hole and pump. And now the um, engine oil is warm, it should. I hate now. to say this, but we've got a sound of that smelling and relationship problems in the background. Okay, so I'm in the starboard aft cabin. We've got a cutaway in the wall, which gives me access to the engine. That will be open in a minute. Jen's just gone upstairs to turn the radio off. So I've took the dipstick out of there and we then put this into there shove it in and this little contraption I've got here we should give it a few pumps and then hopefully the oil should come up here and into there so let's give it a few pumps it's not the easy I won't have to hold it with my feet because I've got my Get your mouth this <laughs> So that's not working. Why? I'll tell you why because down the bottom of here. Right down the bottom of it. I weren't sure what this pipe was. But just here, keep that recording for sound. Just there, there's a pipe with a rubber thing on. And it goes down there, and I think that's a drain plug for when you're doing an oil change. Because this is a, just a marinized lorry engine. So I reckon if we take that off and put this pipe into there, we're straight into the bottom of the engine. So that's what I'm going to do now. So I'll take that out of there because that was a shit idea. And then it's a matter of getting this rubber hose off without burning the ends on this engine now because it's hot. Spill all over, is it? No, it's it's up. I think I'm on right track. If this pipe falls down that hole. Okay, so I've put the pipe in there, a few up and downs on this, and now 
the oil is running and it should be filling this up. Not doing it very quick. But it's doing it. So I just have to sit and wait now until this fills up. So this is just going to take 10 minutes or so for this to fill up. That's how it should work. That's it. It's cosy in here and I'm now starting to get cramp. <laughs> It's another good pump. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm pumping. Oh, look at that oil flowing. So I don't think it's that long since it's had an oil change because I can actually see my fingers through the oil, what's coming through this pipe. And normally when oil's past its sell by date on an engine when it's due it's going to be thick black this is still clear but it's the unknown so putting new oil in it's not going to hurt <laughs> chuff me you've got what pins and needles at the back of your toenails <laughs> Certainly makes it easy work, do not it? This. So that oil we've took out, we need to put into here, so we can dispose of it in a bio-friendly green way. So that's not bad. Just leave that down on. This is the worst part now about doing an oil change is I'll just put that bit on before I forget so we don't get new oil leaking out. I like that maybe. Right, so what I'm doing is putting this plant pot thing in with loads of cloth. in now put this round here and then we get this little tool actually bought this for the Harley but it's pretty good and get it on I need to give it a bit of a turn anyway so just tighten it up People realise how difficult it is to hold a camera and put a torque wrench on an oil filter. Right. Okay, so we've just had to borrow a different type of wrench, a rubber one, which just had enough grip on it. The old one's off, here's the new one, just going on. Now the thing is, with oil filters, you're only supposed to put them on hand tight. And I think a lot of people put them on with a wrench and then they over tighten them. So, that's just 
just over finger tight now and then all I'm going to do is just give it a and that's enough Right, so that's the oil change done. We'll just put the engine back on. And it's running, so running as sweet as a nut. So that's Fix It Friday. Hope you've enjoyed it. See you next time. Cue music.